Well, it's good to see you, and whilst we're unable this year to hold our remembrance service in the usual way, as we have in previous years, nevertheless, it's important to mark the occasion, show our respect and gratitude for those who have gone before us and made sacrifices for our behalf, and indeed those who continue to do so. Last year I stood in St Leonard's Church here and I spoke of my own family connections with war. I said how my uh, maternal grandparents' home in Plymouth was flattened by a bomb shortly before they returned home. Uh, a day which could have ended very differently for them and indeed for me. My paternal grandfather too saw active service in many different countries and, and sadly I was uh, never able to meet him. I'm sure all of us, if we go back far enough, have connections with uh, wars. Many of us uh, have direct connections and many of us still have connections with those who continue to serve in our armed forces. And at remembrance time, we have the opportunity to show our respect and our thanks. Behind me are two plaques on the wall here at St Leonard's Church, and they of course commemorate the fallen, those who gave their lives during the First World War and the Second World War from Bealey Parish. So in this short act of remembrance, let us remember before God and commend to his sure keeping those who have died for their country in war, those whom we knew and whose memory we treasure, and all who have lived and died in the service of mankind. We remember Cyril Arblaster, John Cheshire, John Hartles, Joseph Matthews, Trevor Mosley, Stephen Mumford, Vance Slade, James Taylor, George Webb, Frederick Wiggin, Edgar Wiggin, George Cook, Dennis Gray, and Sidney Brownie. They shall grow not old, as we that are left grow old. Age shall not weary them, nor the years condemn. At the going down of the sun and in the morning, we will remember them.
ever-living God, we remember those whom you have gathered from the storm of war into the peace of your presence. May that same peace calm our fears, bring justice to all peoples, and establish harmony among the nations through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. When you go home, tell them of us and say, for your tomorrow we gave our today. <laughs>